Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I got a nice inexpensive prepper item for you. It's the OutD stainless steel alcohol stove. And we're gonna open it up and show it to you when we come back. All right, so this is a stove I'm kind of late to the party with. It's definitely one that I've wanted to try for a while. And I figured I'd show it to you guys because I actually tested it out myself once I got it in. And I like the way it works, and I like the idea of it and the size of it. And it sure beats, you know, sitting there if you're not very mechanically inclined and in making your own alcohol stove. So, let's open it up, take a look inside. The container, the uh, package it comes in, it's pretty well made, pretty decent. You know, it's not uh, not 1000D nylon, but it's definitely well made. This was one of the issues that I noticed. These, these legs are spring-loaded. So getting it out of the package can be a little tricky because it gets caught in the little springs. I don't know if you can see that. But you'll see how they work, so it's cool. There's your bag. All right. That's what it looks like. Now, the biggest thing people run into is they get confused as to how to open this. Because if I told you to pull down on these legs, you'd be like, what? There's no room to pull down on it. It'll hit the top. Well, it does work. So you're going to pull down and you're going to swing this over. I want to show you. When you swing it over, let's see if you can see that. It clicks into place. There's a little notch and a little piece on the uh, thing there that lets it click into place on the leg. So again, just pull down, turn, let it go. You pull down, turn, and let it go. Straighten that up, and once you're done, there's your stove. The nice part about this is it's an alcohol stove that's made for a little bit of a bigger pot or pan. Um, it'll work with the smaller ones too, but it works pretty well with a bigger, larger pot as well. So if you have one set of you know camp cookware or your bug out gear has one set of cookware, and it's a bigger one, you don't have to run and buy something else. But if you have something smaller, it'll work too. The only set I haven't seen it work very well with, and I did test it, was your Stanley Cook Kit. Uh, because the sides of the Cook Kit kind of are slanted down, and these are slanted down, so it was kind of tippy and not very stable. So let's get into the size of this thing. It's uh, 90 by 130 milliliters. It has a capacity of 100 milliliters of your preferred fuel. Today we're just going to use heat. That's 3.8 ounces. I would suggest maybe using an ounce and a half at a time. It burns pretty long for an ounce. I'll tell you about that in a sec. Um, you want it to boil. You want the alcohol to start boiling and making the flame come out as a gas. So if you put too much in, it might take too long to do that. The materials are stainless steel. The inside is an aluminum liner. Um, I have seen people pull this out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pull the liner out just because then you start getting flame through here instead of out of the jets. So I just leave it the way it is. The net weight is 8.7 ounces. Burner inner diameter is 2.17 inches. Burner height is 2.6 inches. And the stand itself is 3.5 inches tall. And you've got 18 jets all the way around. About hmm, 3 inches from the bottom. So we're going to put some alcohol in there. We're going to try it out and see how long it takes. Um, it does, how this works essentially for those wondering, there is another can in here. It almost works like one of those homemade alcohol stoves. Um, remember I mentioned you don't want to take it out. You'll notice at the bottom, there's a little bit of spot where that can doesn't go all the way down. That is to let the fumes from the alcohol that's boiling come up through the side walls here, come out here and burn like a burner. So we're going to fill it up with some of the heat. Again, this isn't something you want to breathe in. That's about as far as I'd go with it. Unless you're cooking a whole lot of stuff. Um, but you don't want to be breathing in the fumes. But this is safe to use indoors. Alcohol is a safe fuel to use indoors. That's why they use alcohol stoves on boats. So, all in all, you're going to be okay. If you're using this outdoors, I'd use the heat. Indoors, I'd probably use some uh, regular alcohol. So, let's uh, let that sit. Let me get a match, and we'll bring right, it back. I'll do better than a match. I'll get a lighter. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to work. There we go. When I used a match, I had to get very close to it. But it's definitely burning. So I'm going to turn down the lights, and we're going to see in real time how long this takes to uh, bloom. Right now you see the flame coming out there. Kind of want to blow it to the sides. Once it gets close, you can kind of do this, and the, light, the uh, jets will light up. But again, you don't want to use too much because all you'll get is that burning in the center, and you won't get the little jets to light up on the sides. Let's give it a few minutes and see how long that takes. Trying to kind of blow it on there. 
Alright, I see it coming up here. There you go, see? Kind of blew it on there. And they're lit. So your jets are burning. Let me turn off the other light so you can see it. And they will get higher as time goes on. But you got a really nice clean flame going there. So, let's put some water on it. I'm going to do two cups of water. And then we're going to time it. Now, I know I have enough fuel in there to go about... It, I, I believe it's... Uh, one ounce of fuel burns for about seven minutes, so I'm sure we'll be good enough with that. Let's uh, get two cups of water in here. I'm just using a good old cup measure in my pot. Good old-fashioned cup measure, because I'm going to make some coffee with this this morning. Now, this is one of the smaller ones, so we're going to see if we can set that on there. I wanted to use a smaller one for a demo in this. This is the Keith Titanium 650 milliliter pot. So we're going to demo it with that. And see, because I know people will be like, oh, that's ready to fall off, and I'll show you how well it works, even with a smaller pot. A larger pot, of course, will work, but even with something as small as this, you'll be fine. Let me start the timer, and I will let you know how long this takes. We got our timer running here. We got our stopwatch. And I gave it a few seconds, but I'll bring you back when it's a rolling boil. Just wanted to bring you back. It's about two minutes. 37, 38 seconds in there. Let's pull off the lid. I gotta say, it's already starting to go a little bit. That's pretty quick. Now we are at a higher elevation, but that's a lot faster than uh, other tests I've seen with it. I've seen it go about six minutes to boil two cups of water. And I did use the, the measuring cup here, so that's one cup each. So let's see where we're at. We're almost there. Three minutes. And I don't have the lid on anymore because I want to show you when it comes to a boil. This is, now normally, if this was just for, for me and not for a test, that would be fine for my coffee. But uh, we're going to let it go all the way through and uh, make some coffee. Okay. Let's say three minutes and 50 seconds. Got a rolling boil. I'm going to pull it over here carefully. Yes, I shouldn't use paper near a fire, I know. <laughs> But I don't want to burn my fingers, and I didn't bring anything else out. So, just let that sit in there and steep a little bit. Now, the nice thing about this is this lid can be used to put out the fire. you got to be careful, because I gave myself a little bit of a nasty burn the first time. But there you go, covered up and done. you got to be careful, because you're really going over the fire. So, that is a fairly simple stove to use. There's my, my coffee brewing in there. And I think, you know, for a bug-out bag or something, for uh, any kind of go kit, even for a vehicle where you might be using this inside your vehicle with some ventilation, um, I think something like this is cool. As I've said before, alcohol stoves are safe to use indoors um, as long as you're burning, you know, just plain alcohol. I probably wouldn't, if I was in a very confined space, burn heat because the fumes can be kind of, nasty for you, but as far as just running regular 91% rubbing alcohol or any of the other type of stoves, uh, stove fuel that you have out there for alcohol stoves, it should be absolutely fine. You know, it should be perfectly fine with no problem at all. So that is a quick demo of the OutD alcohol stove. Very uh, prepper budget friendly. They're about 18 bucks. They used to be 12 bucks. I finally broke down and bought one. Now they're 18. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to test it. I've always seen these. I've always thought they were kind of a neat design. I like the way that, you know, the legs fold out. and I like the fact that you can get a bigger pot on there. One. Two. You know, something like this. Easily. So, I mean, you could break that down, stick it in here, and there's your cook kit. Literally in two things with a little bottle of alcohol or fuel of any kind you're going to use, you're good to go. I mean, that's pretty darn cool. So, that is the, uh, the demo for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We got about two cups of water there boiling at uh, about 3 minutes 50 seconds. Not bad at all. Um, definitely a cool little device to keep around. And um, if you're a uh, apartment prepper, if you're prepping in a small space, you know, like you have a studio apartment in the middle of a big city, and you're prepping for power outages or anything like that, something like that is awesome. You could buy two of those and have yourself, you know, basically a mini, uh, a mini uh, stove going there and pretty much cook anything you want. 
I have seen people make simmer rings for these where you can kind of put a ring on it and it'll simmer. But um, this is pretty much full bore run until it's out. So just something to think about. You know, it's not something you're going to be making, uh, you know, flip, flip perfect little over easy eggs or you're going to be cooking anything long term. It cooks until it's done. It's full heat until it's finished, until it's out. So that is a consideration. But other than that, love the thing. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will put a link down below where you can pick one of these up. Like I said, they're 18 bucks. Really, really inexpensive. Um, if you're putting together your first bug out bag or something like that, and you're willing to carry the fuel in a separate bottle, hey, you know, that's that's really all you need. And it can be used indoors, you know, if you're bugging out indoors somewhere. I still like a little bit of ventilation, but um, definitely a cool item, you know. I, I Definitely an innovative little item, the way the legs work. So I will put a link, as I said, to the item down below. Um, you can check out it in our store. Um, if you shop our store, I try to put everything that I review in the store. If you have nothing in the store you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. It really helps out our channel. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link if you're interested in getting started in some freeze-dried food. Excellent way to heat up your water if you need to rehydrate your freeze-dried food. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.